I literally almost forgot this, but I did say I was gonna share some books with you, so I will get to that now. So first of all, I have some physical books here, but I also have some books on Audible, so I will detail those as well. So the first book that I've had for a really long time is this Sex Magic book. It's a really, really lovely kind of first dip into sex magic because it talks about a lot of love magic. So it's a magical path to erotic bliss. It's a very, very aesthetic looking book, and it's lovely for people who are quite new to witchcraft as well. It does sort of come from a Wiccan perspective in parts and it's quite general but then there is stuff here about magic and magic with a K, the definitions of pagan and witch etc and then symbols, a little bit more broad this is but then it's got lovely little spells like for self anointing oils, a sexy couple spell, push you away from me spell, it talks about aphrodisiacs, aphrodite, sigils, of course sigil magic is such a big thing and especially in sex magic it can be used in a really beautiful way. There's cord magic here, dream pillows which is beautiful as well. Then the ancient art, traditional sexual remedies, this is a fantastic section. Dragon's blood, fertility spells, morning dew spell. Obviously there's that Beltane spell and that's what this refers to. So the dew in May has always been the witch's beauty secret. An old proverb associated with the May festival of Beltane says that you will retain your beauty longer if you wash your face with the first dew of May. This spell however can be done during the waxing growing moon in any month and will be nearly as effective. And so you'll need one wide bowl and some vanilla oil. And so it goes into how glamorous beauty spell. So again, you can sort of bring in beauty spells and like glamour magic and so this is like a really really broad look into sex magic and there are herbs at the end like things that you might associate here after sex magic the sexual fluids of both men and women are charged with their magical intent so it does go into quite a lot of depth it's a really good starting point book I have this book which is not a witchy book but it is The Joy of Sex, so a timeless guide to love making. This is very practical and there are some illustrations, I probably won't be able to show those, but yeah, very literal illustrations and then details throughout about all well, that you can imagine basically. It's just a handy book to have if you're doing this stuff, right? I absolutely love this book. This is Sex Witch by Sophie St. Thomas, Magical Spells for Love, Lust and Self-Protection. What I love the most about this book is that it's so sex positive. There are spells in here that are suitable for all, including LGBTQIA plus communities. Also, it's sex worker positive as well, which I love. And the beginning of the book as well, you don't need to be, again, you don't need to be really experienced with magic or witchcraft to be able to use the spells in this book because Sophie St. Thomas does go into some details about different correspondences that you can use in witchcraft and some very, very basic things that you might want to know about. There's certain gods and goddesses, astrological correspondences, etc. And then a lot, a lot of spells and recipes and incenses. There are some lovely recipes in here as well that have just been really inspirational for me and yeah I just think that this is a fantastic fantastic book. Gabriella Hurstic has a quote on the back as well as Kirsten J. Solier, author of Witches, Sluts, Feminists, which I haven't read which is on my list. But also Gabriella Hurstic I will say is coming out with a sex magic book in a few months and I cannot wait to get my hands on that so that I think is going to be a really good one. Next up is Adventures in Sex Magic. I literally devoured this in like a day or two and I have so many notes in here. This is such a great book. It's so straight to the point. This is Damon Brand. This is the Gallery of Magic. These books are so little that you can literally just fly through them. Really easy to read but so much essential occult knowledge. The only thing I don't like about this book is that there isn't a bibliography which I was like oh you know clearly this person has so much experience and understanding from a ceremonial perspective you know very occult methods but practically applied and going from the most basic kind of sex magic techniques to then layering with other techniques as well things that you can use together and then like a system that you can use when using sex magic and how to do that individually with a partner or in group settings so that's obviously up to you <laughs> and then also then it goes into quite a lot of detail about using sigils in sex magic and then a process for making that super super powerful super super personal and potent and a really wonderful wonderful book if you are interested in this at all i would highly recommend this book Next up is a book I have not really gotten too far into. I've only just started. This is Sex, Sorcery and Spirit, The Secrets of Erotic Magic by Jason Miller. I absolutely love Jason Miller's work. I have read Sorcerer's Secrets and Protection and Reversal Magic and a couple of the other ones are on my list as well to read really soon. So his work I just love. I absolutely love Jason Miller. His work is so, so good. Like he is so knowledgeable. Obviously coming at it from a ceremonial perspective full of occult knowledge. So 
devoted the last 23 years to traveling the globe, studying practical magic in its many forms. The author of Protection Reversal, Magic Sorcerer Secrets and Financial Sorcery, runs the Strategic Sorcery Training Course, the Strategic Sorcery Blog, and he's coming up with a new book, I think, Consorting with Spirits, I think it's called. But so I'm very excited to get deeper into this because I think it's going to be a good one. So what it says on the back, the sexual act is possibly the most potent and pleasurable gateway to the primordial and the divine. From the tantric mysteries of Hinduism, Buddhism, and the inner alchemy of Taoism, to the sacrament of the bridal chamber in Christianity, and of course the traditions in Western magic and witchcraft, of sex pervades the highest and most secret teachings all over the world. Jason Miller draws upon training in Eastern and Western mystery schools to produce a frank, comprehensive exploration of sexual sorcery and spirituality. So this is really exciting. I'll have to do a full review of this book when I have finished it. So that brings me to the end of the fears of works. And then in terms of audiobooks I have on the go include... I would like to get physical copies of these books as well, but I am trying to consume as much information as I possibly can at one time. So I try and use Audible to listen to books that I don't necessarily have physical copies of. And then there are some books that I do have physical copies of that I wanted to get on Audible as well, so I could listen to them again, like some classics that I've already read. Also Psychic Witch, for instance, there are loads of meditations in there. So even though I'd read the book a couple of times, the physical copy, I wanted to get the Audible book so that I'd be able to do the meditations and I could just hit play. That's really great for that as well. So in terms of Tantra, so I have an introduction to Tantra by Lama Yeshi, and I believe this may have been free on Audible. Then I have Urban Tantra, uh, Sacred Sex for the 21st Century by Barbara Corellis, which has been highly recommended. And there are a couple of others on my wish list as well. I'm trying not to buy extra credits too much because there's so much I wanna read on here. So there's just a couple of Tantra books that I'm sort of dipping my toe in as I start to practice some Tantra. And at some point I really would like to take a Tantra course. I'm thinking like a year's down online. I'm currently taking an astrology course at the moment, which is a year-long course in astrology that will set you up to become a professional astrologer, which is something that I cannot wait for because I'm obsessed with astrology. So my plate is really full and one day I would like to train to become a herbalist as well. So that is something I want to do and I want to take my Reiki 2 and 3 so I can offer Reiki as well. So there's lots of strings I'm adding to my bow and continuing to practice tarot and magic and be my witchy self. So that was a long-winded way of showing you some sex magic books. But I hope that you've enjoyed those. I would like to share with you, I do have a Patreon page that I have literally just launched and I am so, so excited to share it with you. At the moment, I'm offering one tier to support me to continue to make free content here where I'm sharing educational information as well as personal witchy vlogs, etc. What I'm doing in my own practice, I share a lot of spells and rituals and recipes of my own. And to do that, I'm so, so grateful to receive any support at all to help me to continue to do that. So over there, you can see there's one tier and I plan to expand and to add further tiers and I'm not entirely sure how I will structure it yet, but I plan to offer some tarot and oracle readings. I also plan to offer exclusive spells, rituals and recipes over on that platform as well and to share some exclusive videos with recommendations and more practices, etc. It's going to be a really, really nurturing, nourishing space where we can have a safe community and I love sharing things for free and I'm not going to stop but I feel like this way I'm going to be able to create more content that I feel that maybe I can't create so much of here already where it's on YouTube you know if it's on Patreon it's a little bit safer and there's that community sense there so you know I'm not going to stop creating content here but if you do want to go and support me there it would mean absolutely the world to me I have an Instagram page a TikTok and a buy me a coffee page if you would like to share your appreciation and buy me a coffee that would be so lovely I'm also planning to start offering tarot readings soon. If you are interested, then do send me an email. My email is in the about page or down below in the description box or send me a DM on Instagram. That's the best way to get in touch with me, either of those two. I will put you down on the list and come back to you. I felt for a couple of years now that I would like to start offering readings, but it's just been my inertia around setting up a business and such. And so that's held me back a little bit, but it's something that I just cannot wait to do. So if you would like a reading from me, then please do send me a message or DM me and I will get back to you soon. So if you made it to the end of the video, then do leave me a little crescent moon emoji. I love seeing those. At the end of the video, it's just a lovely thing. Also, if you have been watching my channel and enjoying it and you're not yet subscribed, please do think about subscribing. And while you're subscribing, don't forget to hit that little bell notification because that's how YouTube is going to let you know when I create and upload videos just like this. Tarot, witchcraft, magic, spirituality, occult topics. So with all that said, thank you again so much for joining me. I hope you stay well and safe, look after yourselves, and many, many blessings. Bye.